In order to add bump to our texture with Twilight, what we can do first is first let's go ahead and select the, the brick pattern that we want to add our bump to. So I'm just using the eyedrop tool and there we see the preview over here. So as of now, it doesn't have any type of bump to it. So here it's just in a we actually we, I could go to let's go ahead and give it uh, some type of property we're using one of these templates if we just go with flat all it gives us is the SketchUp color um, and the bump is just a color now I can change this to go to SketchUp so it's using the SketchUp texture uh, or the image to create a bump now right now I have it kind of exaggerated at 5 and you may not see anything here because there is no lighting or anything else applied to it. So let's go to paint uh, and let's just call it, uh, well, go, let's go with stone. We'll call it a natural stone. So that way it gives us a little bit of shine to it. So we'll, hopefully we'll be able to see some of the bump that's being applied to it. So again, uh, we do, we just want to make sure that you are using either the SketchUp texture as a bump or you can select your own texture by just going um, just selecting something that you have uh, saved in a material but you want to make sure it's it's gonna apply the bump the same as your uh, material that you have selected here so I would use the SketchUp bump and I'm gonna go ahead and exaggerate it let's make it 15 and let's see if we can start seeing some of the the bump being applied to it and we can change some of these factors here I'm just doing this so you can actually see that it is creating a bit of a bump to the the brick texture so real simple to do and another example that you can do and you can here you can invert it as well so just depending on how you want it to look and now if I went somewhere to let's say over here to my stucco I can I'm gonna give it some a little bit of shine I'm just gonna call uh, use paint flat enamel and then you see it's got quite a bit of bump to this uh, looks a little bit too much for for what we're doing so we can reduce that down and when you get into things like flooring you really don't need a lot of bump to, to show some some effect there so and you can play with some of these other settings as well so real easy to add bump to it and just keep in mind that when you do add bump it's gonna add to your render times as well so make sure you're only adding it to the surfaces that really matter and that you're really gonna notice the bump okay well thanks for watching if you have any more questions feel free to comment or message me and I'll be glad to answer them see you next time